Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Are you ready to get into the Halloween spirit? I hope you are because I have the basic witch palette to share with you guys today. This is the new Bella Beauté Bar Halloween palette for 2023 and I couldn't be more excited than to welcome this into my stash. I was kindly sent this in PR and guys, she is a beauty. This is a gorgeous 15 pan palette with nine buttery mattes, four amazing multi, multi chromes, and two dynamic duo chromes. This palette drops this Friday at 11 a.m. CST. That is September the 8th. You can use my affiliate code STEP10 and that will give you 10% off of your order. The retail price on this palette is going to be $65 less, of course, a discount code, which I hope you guys, if you don't use mine, you use somebody else's to take advantage of that savings. I will be creating three looks with this gorgeous palette. I'm seeing green, so it's automatically a winner well we'll see but i will say this the palette swatched out really well those mattes live up to their description as being buttery smooth i am so excited for this one if it is your first time here on my channel i just want to say hello and welcome to all of you my name is steph i love trying out indie makeup i love new makeup you know just in general i'm primarily a makeup review channel but i do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes makeup ranking videos which i'm falling a little behind on i'm gonna get back on track there's just so much new stuff if that all sounds great to you and you just want to talk about makeup on the daily be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you are a fan of indie makeup, maybe you just want to see some of these new Halloween releases. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. I will have all of the makeup that I'm wearing linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so, so much for, help, for helping me support my channel. And I also want to do just a quick shout out real quick. I'm wearing the Oracle highlighter palette that is also available right now on the Bella Beauty Bar website. Guys, this palette was released last year and it sold out several times. I have, look at this. This is an amazing highlighter, and it is this one that I'm wearing. The shade is called The Magician. If you can swing this palette and Basic Witch, you will not be disappointed. You will be set as far as like dual multi-chrome highlighters go and a new Halloween palette. So let's get started. If you guys want to see how the three looks are going to turn out, keep on watching. Now I've already primed my eyelids with the Bella Beauty Bar Eyeshadow Primer. This is a really nice eyeshadow primer, not just for initially starting your eye look, but for also helping to um, add some sticking power for those specialty shadows or pressed glitters, um, whatever you're going to be wearing. So um, I'll definitely utilize that more in today's video. Where are we going to start? I wore a pink top on purpose just because I felt this was a little more pink purple leaning palette, which I don't mind at all. I think purple is a great shade for like Halloween time and even going into the fall. Purple is not just for like spring and summer, definitely wear it year round. Um, but I like this shade in here. I thought that was really cool that they included that. Also the light orange, of course, the green down here, and then this darker shade. So we definitely have some lighter options and we have some deeper options, which I'm sure a lot of you will appreciate. I think I am going to start here with this shade and kind of do maybe these three right here. I might dabble into this one. I don't know, but I think I want to just focus on these three. So the first one I'm going to go in with is called Glenda. Is it Glenda? Yeah, Glenda. And I'm taking Glenda on a Singe Beauty E03. Now I'm going in with that lighter purple shade called Black Magic. I'm going to focus this in the crease, just a little bit lower, and also right here on the outer corner. And this is a Singe E02 that I'm using. 
feel like my singe brushes have glitter on them because there are no glitters in these mattes and I'm seeing a little bit of sparkle in my crease so just ignore that I need to I need to wash brushes if I don't do it today it has to get done by this weekend now on the Singe Beauty EO5, I'm going in with that darker purple shade, which I believe is pronounced Hecate. I don't know what that means. Do you guys know what that means? I don't think I've heard that before. It has something to do with witchery, I guess. I don't know. Wow, that is some good payoff there. And it's all blending together so seamlessly. Okay, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a little bit of the Bella Beauty Bar Primer. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna get a little brush. I have my It Spell brush, the E9. Is it the E9? Yeah. I'm just gonna put that right here. Okay, now with that same brush, I am going to go in with this hot pink. This one is called Witch Please. And we're gonna put that all over. And we're gonna do something on top. Look at that beautiful shift into like a blue. Wow. Oh wow, that is so pretty. Now with my finger, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Hocus Pocus. That's what it looks like. I'm just gonna stamp it right there. Ooh, look at that, stunning, stunning. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Coven for the lower lash line. I'm using the It's Bell E7 brush. Now on an It's Bell E3, I'm gonna go back in with the shade Hocus Pocus and I am gonna spray this brush. Just apply it right here to the inner corner. Wow. Okay guys, I'm gonna go add some liner. I think I might do lashes today. And then I will come back and show you guys the completed look number one. Okay, guys, so here is look number one. Love it. We are off to a really, really good start. Uh, for the lower waterline, I used a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This one is in the shade Fruit Fantasy. The lashes I'll be using are these from House of Lashes. They are the Boudoir Light Lashes. And then I use some Rare Beauty Eyeliner to tightline the top lash line. And the mascara I'll be using in today's video is the latest from Huda Beauty. This is her One Coat Wow Mascara. Totally love the way this look turned out. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, for look number two, I really want to use the green. Maybe the green and the orange we can pair together. So I think I'll start with the orange first and then we'll work into the green and then I'll probably come down here to the shade Black Cat and we'll deepen up the outer corner. So maybe we can do kind of like an ombre effect so this is the first shade I'm going to go in with. This one is called Grimoire. Grimoire. I don't know. Something like that. The orange shade in the palette. And I'm taking that on a Singe Beauty E04. I'm going to focus that here in the inner corner. And you'll see that I'm also stamping it on the lid. I'm going to bring it down a little bit as well. Wow, that is some pigment. I wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Singe E05 for the green shade that's called Creep It Real. That's the thing. Bella Beauté Bar always has really cute shade names. That is a really pretty green. 
Okay, we're off to a really good start with this look. Now let me grab, let me get this one from What's Up Beauty. This is their R108 and I'm picking up the shade Black Cat. And that's gonna go out here. And also a little bit into the crease. I'm not too concerned about how this looks since I am going to cover it. There we go. Okay, I think we have a nice blend there. A nice base for the shimmer shadows. So I am going to do, I'm going to start first with incantation. And then we're going to go into resting witch face. And I'm using a damp Morphe M124. I'm going to put that right here, like where I placed that orange shadow, the matte orange. You know, we could just leave it like that. But since I want to try as many shades as possible, now I'm picking up resting witch face on the same brush. I'm just flipping it over. We're gonna put that one right here. See, that has a little red pink to it, which I think complements the orange nicely. And of course, anything goes with green. Treat green as your neutral. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And you know what? I forgot to put on the primer. And look at how well it did not getting any fallout. Love that. Love it. Love it. I'm just touching up the dark shades of uh, black cat. Yeah, black cat right out here. I think I want the green. Creep it real for the lower lash line. I'm using the It's Bell E4. I'm gonna meet it up with the orange. Now I got a little bit of fallout. You can see it right there. Now I'm going to take the shade black cat on a refer 03. I'm just going to use it to tight line. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Perfectly Wicked for the inner corner. Same refer 03, but I am going to spray it. All right, guys, now I'm going to take care of the finishing touches off camera. And I will be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look number two. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. I went in with an e.l.f. no budge shadow stick. This one is in the shade Lava Lamp. Love it. Love this look so, so much. Look at that orange, pink, green shift up there. That is so pretty. Both of these looks, I love them. I mean... I don't even feel like these are Halloween looks. Like these are totally looks you can wear year round. I am going to go take some pictures. I'll probably remove this look and then I'll come back and we'll start creating the third and final look with the basic witch palette, which is anything but basic from Bella Beauté Bar. All right. So for look number three, this is the only matte shade that I have not used. So I definitely want to use it. Uh, maybe this could be something like for the inner corner and then I can really focus on this shade. Actually, no, you know what? I haven't even used Conjure yet. So we need to use these two shades for sure. So I'm going to start with Hex and then I'll work into Conjure. I'm using the Game Beauty E08 to just apply that right in here. Actually, I should probably reach for my E01, but eh, we'll make this work going to be a small little area. Bring it down a little bit as well. Now I'm picking up Conjure on a rougher 14. You can do something kind of winged out a bit. There's a nice peak. Going back in with the shade Hex. I'm going to add a little bit of contour right down here. 
Now, the only shade I have left to use is Caldron right here. So we're definitely going to use this right now. But I think I also want to do maybe a little bit of Witch Please. Wait, did I use Hocus? Yeah, I used Hocus Pocus. Yep. Yeah. Caldron is the only one I haven't used. So I'm going to start with Witch Please right here, and then I'll work my way into Caldron. I'm using a damp Morphe M709. I'm not taking it all the way into the inner corner because I kind of want to leave that maybe as a matte, that hex shade. Just kind of doing it right here in this front part. Yeah, just like that. Same brush, flipping it over. I'm going to spray it again. It is so pretty. Oh, I love that. We'll give it a little flick out here as well. All right. I'm going to bring Hex down just a little bit more. Now I'm going in with Black Magic on a Lunar Beauty number one. Now on a BH Cosmetics pencil brush, I'm going in with that shade Coven. I am going to take care of the finishing touches off camera. I'll be right back to show you this completed look number three. Okay, guys, so here is look number three. Winged out that black liner, but look at the effect that black liner has or the duo multichromes has on that black liner. It makes it look so cool, almost makes it look green. I love it. I love the way this look turned out. For the lower waterline, I went in with a NYX Epic Wear Liner. This one is in the shade Saw a Ghost Pepper. It's limited edition. I believe it's still available at Ulta and on the NYX website. So if you want these limited edition shades that sometimes I wear um, in my looks, be sure you check them out um, as soon as possible. Okay, guys, I managed to use all 15 shades in the Basic Witch palette from Bella Beauty Bar. It's time for final thoughts. So here we go, Basic Witch, love the name. I love like the lettering on here on the outward packaging. This is your typical cardboard packaging. It is vegan, paraben, and cruelty-free as well. This drops on Friday, September the 8th at 11 a.m. CST, my affiliate code STEPH10 will save you 10% off. The retail price is $65 for the 15 shadows, nine mattes, four duochromes and two duochromes. You do get a mirror and I think it's a beautiful color story. I don't think there's anything basic about this at all. And if you love your pinks and purples with a little pop of green and a pop of orange, this palette performs beautifully. I really think and I've really seen an improvement in the Bella Beauty Bar formula year after year after year but more so I would say from this time last year to where we are right now they just keep getting better and better their color stories are so much fun I love that this is a smaller palette I feel like they've been doing larger palettes this year and I love to see the scale down to 15 shadows you're gonna have so much fun with this palette please don't just reserve it for Halloween. This is most definitely a year round palette. I got very little, if any, fallout with this palette. The mattes are really buttery smooth. This palette swatched out so well. It's just, it's just a beautiful palette. I love that we get a really deep shadow down here. I love um, this purple, this gray, the orange and the green, and then all the shimmer shadows are just beautiful. I think Basic Witch is definitely worthy of two thumbs up. I had so much fun creating these three looks. I wanted to quickly compare it to my favorite palette from Halloween of 2022, which also came to us from Bella Beauty Bar, and that is their Strange and Unusual palette. This palette made so much sense after I watched Beetlejuice, which uh, Beetlejuice 
part two should be coming out maybe next year. We'll see. But this is the Strange and Unusual palette. I don't know if it's available right now, but if you don't have this one, gosh, I would really hope that they would bundle the two together because I think, and let me just hold them up, look at that they are beautiful complements to one another basic witch at the top strange and unusual at the bottom look at that so much fun if you have strange and unusual i'm sure you've been loving it i sure have been loving mine but you can see there are some definite differences between the two to where they would just be like the perfect companion palettes i don't know if they're gonna do a bundle i don't know if strange and unusual is still in stock it might be available for pre-order i'm not too sure but if you were wondering about that palette that is a really awesome palette. For me, that was a palette where I just kind of saw like a formula change. Like they just like amped it up 10 times. Like that was just, that was the turning point for me, I think, with Bella Beauté Bar. And also, let's don't forget Oracle Palette, the highlighter palette. I think that this is a beautiful highlighter palette. I forget the retail price. It is a little bit on the pricey side just because they are specialty uh, shadows in here. But if you have it, you know it's worth it because you could just get a beautiful highlight. If you're able to pick up these goodies, of course, step 10, my affiliate code will give you 10% off. Let me know your thoughts now, guys. What did you think of the three looks? Are you team one, two, three, none, all? Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know if Basic Witch is going to be finding its way into your stash this Halloween season. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.